events you're about to see unfold throughout this video occur once in a lifetime. An American joining a nomad wedding in central Iran. There you go. There you go. Oh, thank you. A ceremony few outsiders have witnessed and even fewer have caught on camera. What is going on here? These are the Kashkai people. Is anyone here going to get hurt? Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. Today I'll be joining what may be the most important day of this couple's lives. A wedding celebration attended by thousands of friends and family. It's going nuts though. I've never seen anything like this. This is crazy. With wedding customs you've never seen before. Holy shit. And food on a scale that's nearly impossible to comprehend. The way that they are giving it to everyone. You know? So bad. Yeah. We're about to witness true love in Iran. Between me and this traditional nomad food. I'm trying to take less space. I'm like man spreading accidentally. So, Sunny, welcome to this place. We're hosting this lovely family here. And this is a breakfast tradition? Yeah, you know, people who's coming here, they invite them to their place. So they slaughter the chip and then they cook and they barbecue as a kebab mm. for the special guests here, just like you right now. This family is part of the Kashgai, one of the biggest nomad groups in Iran. They're here today to support the success of the wedding, waking up early and preparing food for others in the community who will facilitate today's events. Right now we have the liver kebab with lungs kebab and the hearts kebab. We'll start the day with the Kashgai tradition of preparing and eating kebabs made from the sheep's organ meats. What is this? This is lungs. Wow, roasted yeah. lungs. Yeah. With bread? Yeah, with bread. Which is fresh meat. It tastes about like what you would think it would taste like. What do you think? I remember the old days. This is Mosen. He spent the first few years of his life living the nomadic Kashkai tribe lifestyle, moving throughout the year, always in search of better grazing fields for livestock. At age eight, his family settled in the city of Isfahan, where he's lived ever since. How did growing up like that affect how you look at the world now? Here you've got more free time to think about the life. But in the city, you've got all the time stress of the work, of the place to sleep, alone from the bank. But here, these doesn't make sense. Sense. The only thing that makes sense is to be grouped around, to be together all the time. There is no TV, there is no internet. People were more... More connected. Yeah. Traditionally, the Kashkai move according to the weather and the needs of their livestock. These days, most nomadic communities have settled in search of an easier life. Though their lifestyles have changed, their traditions remain the same, especially those surrounding special ceremonies like today's wedding. Let's go for the liver. The super thin bread with some liver. Let's try it out. Oh, it's pretty good. I mean, super simple. A delivery with some salt and bread. Really simple, but really healthy. Yeah, I feel my health skyrocketing. Today, we're at this wedding. Yeah. This is a very rare opportunity. Weddings are different in the tribes. When a woman from another tribe is married to a boy from another tribe, the number of the people gets higher. Maybe today, we're going to have thousands of people here. Thousands? Yeah. Wow. That's why it's rare. This is like the quiet meal before the storm of people. Yeah, wow. Yeah, exactly. Everybody, how is it? What's your favorite body part? It gives you stuff. They like the heart. Mm. Oh, is there a heart here? He had it all. He ate it all? Yeah. <laughs> There's no heart <laughs> there for us. <laughs> Right now, it's it's 9.30. So they're gonna gather around all here. After the music starts, they start to dance together. All the group together. And outside? Outside. In exactly. the sun? In the sun. Oh, brutal. I mean, yeah. I can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> Wedding preparations are in full effect. Right here, we're making maybe our second course. Yeah. This is pure sheep fat, right? Yeah, with some extra butter, they're gonna turn this fat into an oil. The meat from the sheep has been diced and placed in a mixture of water, garlic, cumin, turmeric, onion, and salt stewing for about an hour. So we're going to see that in a bit. Yeah. It takes a while to build. Exactly. So it's called gourmet. It's gourmet. a special main dish for the wedding. Um, your fire broke. You just want to put it here. Right I, OK, inside. I'll put it back. There we go. Yeah. All right, we helped out. Hey, 
There you go. There you go. Oh, thank you. Okay. We're trying to dance at the moment. You just go up and down, one left and then one right. Don't do it with both hands. If I dance bad, is a guy with a gun gonna do anything? No. Or is a gun <laughs> dancing? Clothes are colorful. It means that we are not in trouble with other tribes. They're gonna look at their wedding video like, who's that guy? <laughs> The food's been cooking for a while now, about an hour with this lamb. It's kind of become stewed and a bit soft. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. Oh yeah. That's Come a great on. piece. Yeah, go ahead. Wow, wow, look at this mutton rib meat. It looks so juicy. It's really oh, tasty. Great spices, salty, savory, tender. Everything's mixed together. It's got some kick to it, huh? <laughs> hey. Wait, what's going on here? In the old days, men inside the tribes, they must have the courage to show themselves for the future. When they become old, they could control and be the leader of the tribe. So we call it a stick fight. Someone grab a bigger stick, which is, means he's defending, and the other one has a smaller stick to hit it. So if he hit it, that guy lost. And if he doesn't, they switch the positions. Are the guys all part of the same family? They are from different tribes, so different tribes are fighting together. How serious is it? They look super intense. Oh, no, no, they're just acting like that. I noticed the women are not very no, interested. No. They're like, we'll just hang out in the shade, you guys work it out. for four hours, finally, the bride and groom have showed up right behind us. People yeah. are getting nuts. If they get some surprises or maybe some gifts, they were gonna give it to them. And after all that, we'll have lunch time. Okay. That's going to be uh, with that. I can't wait. Going nuts though. I've never seen anything like this. This is crazy. There's smoke bombs, kids dancing, firing rifles. This is the most raucous thing I've ever witnessed. Coming from different tribes, but forming a single union with thousands of friends and family to pay witness. You don't need to speak the language or understand the culture to know this is a special moment. As the wedding festivities continue, so does the food prep. Chickens are slaughtered, feathered, and stuffed with onion, pomegranate, and walnuts. Sewn shut and cooked in a pot with turmeric, cumin, garlic, water, and salt. But this crowd is huge and hungry, so the wedding planner called for backup days ago. They got the food in these huge vessels. They've got rice. They cannot make it here, yeah. so they make it in the small kitchens. Not one minute too late, a huge food truck arrives with giant vessels piled high with rice and meat. They're just doing this right out the back of the truck, and they're just going to start scooping exactly. up. Exactly. So one plate per person? Per person, yeah. The guardians of the food truck get to work setting up an assembly line, tossing together plates of kebab, rice, and yellow saffron soaked rice. Everyone behind us is eating, literally hundreds of people. That's not even half the people. Do the men and women eat the same thing? Yeah, absolutely. Why do the men eat first? Because the women are dancing. <laughs> That's a good point. In no time, this team has scooped together and delivered hundreds of meals. They are giving it to everyone. They're doing it super fast because they know. So fast. Yeah. I like this. I've never seen it where they just hide the kebab. It's not only for hiding, it's also for keeps it warm. Mm. I'm going to try chicken first. It's sour taste. But very like warm, tender, and savory. Oh, that's nice. I noticed on the truck with the rice, dumping oil onto the white rice. You know, because the rice cooks maybe a, a bit earlier, it's become a little dry, so they add some oil to it to make it, you know, Nice and moist. Yeah. It's a pretty good meal. So I got lamb kebab here. I'm gonna try that out. Mm. I like that even more. My personal favorite. 
Oh yeah, I love it. Most of the Iranian main dishes, especially when the rice is, you're gonna have the saffron. Now, would it be too expensive to make it all saffron, or would that not be delicious? No, if you use a lot of saffron, you might be not feeling good. And it's also for the decoration, they, when they put it off. Decoration and some uh, balance. Yeah. Now that we're fueled up, there's only one thing left to do. What would I wash it? Oh! <laughs> An apple! An apple! That's perfect! Among Iran's population of 81 million, there are about 1.5 million nomadic people, the most of almost any country. Today, we've witnessed two of them forming a new family, the start of a new lineage that will carry on the Kashgai traditions to the next generation. From researching and shooting to editing and mastering, our 10-person Best Ever Food Review Show team works hard to roll out the highest quality travel food entertainment twice a week. If you like what we do here, please consider supporting our Patreon. Patreon allows fans of the show to contribute a monthly sum and receive a load of extras like early video releases, private Q&As, and beyond. To learn more about our Patreon, check out the link in the description box down below. And if you can't give or don't even feel like it, that's okay too. <laughs> We're just happy you're here. Mosin. Yeah. My dude, thank you for teaching me how to live, party, and wed like a nomad here in central Iran, man. It was my honor. I had a great time. You can follow him on Instagram here yeah. at this name right here. <laughs> well, Pete, make sure to push this subscribe button for my beloved friend Sonny hey. from the United States of America. He's doing well and good dancing. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I learned my best moves from you. That is it for this one, guys. I will see you next time. A a peace. peace. And be sure to check out our second channel, More Best Ever Food Review Show, for raw clips and deleted scenes that didn't make it into the show.